Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Sharon Tay. The family of a skateboarder arrested in Venice say police went too far and they have proof of what happened this weekend. And tonight, the LAPD is responding to questions of excessive force. KCAL 9's Art Barron has the video. Tony Scott's family is denying a report that a celebrated director and producer had inoperable brain cancer. Scott killed himself yesterday by jumping off the Vincent Thomas Bridge in San Pedro. KCAL 9's Amanda Burton has reaction from the people he worked with over the years. In Health Watch tonight, an added bonus for a treatment that targets the skin disease, psoriasis. KCAL 9's Lisa Siegel reveals local doctors see promise and what it can also do for the heart. What happened to, yes. but it's a dry heat. <laughs> <laughs> We've always been able to brag out here, it's yeah. a dry heat, but yeah, it's a so dry much. heat. <laughs> no. This beloved musical has been updated with some amazing 21st century special effects. Mary Poppins not only sings and dances, she actually soars above the stage. KCAL 9 entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez spoke with the stars of this incredible show. You can't have Al Capone's vault or find Butch Cassidy's hole in the wall, but for a price, you can have the house where the notorious gangsters, Ma Barker and her son, were finally stopped. And we have breaking news right now. Massive layoffs just announced at the troubled San Onofre nuclear power plant. One third of the workers are about to lose their jobs. KCAL 9's Stacey Butler is live in San Clemente. Stacey? Custody. KCAL 9's Art Barron spoke to the skateboarder, the police, and a witness to the arrest. Tonight we're hearing for the first time from the husband of a Marina Del Rey diver whose body was found off Ranchos Pelas Verdes this weekend. KCAL 9's Carter F. Newly released autopsy results show former NFL linebacker Junior Seau was not on illegal drugs or alcohol when he died. A nationwide political firestorm after a Republican Senate candidate made controversial comments about rape. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Ryan joins us live with the latest.